Uh, the first time I came to Lords, it would have been the 1982 uh, NatWest final. Surrey were playing against Warwickshire. Uh, my dad, Alan, uh, made 70 or 86, I think, not out in the second innings to, to chase down uh, Warwickshire's rather paltry total. And, uh, and Surrey won their first trophy for something like 11 years, so that would have been the first time. I've got a, a vague recollection, and I think it was even recorded, um, of running onto the field just as you were allowed to back in those days to try and uh, try and grab the old man as he ran off the pitch and then got stampeded by him and, and the rest of the crowd coming from the other end of the ground. So yeah, those are first memories, good ones. Caribbean flourish to that stroke from Mark Butcher. I think we were in, in deep trouble. Marvin Atapatu made a double hundred, I think, in the, in the first innings. We'd been dismissed relatively cheaply. Um, and uh, we were basically, you know, digging in to try and save a test match. It wasn't the most, uh, wasn't the most startling innings, I don't think, but it, it did the job. It's not the most glamorous stroke that he's played, but it's the one that takes him to 100 here at Lords in the first Test match of the summer. England needed this innings. It was wonderful to come back and get a get a warm reception from the members and, and the, the, the ground itself has that malevolent electricity, the noise that you don't really get anywhere else. So yeah, to have that to have that broken with, with applause that was for, for you and, and you alone was pretty good and then come up to the dressing room and the, and the boys had obviously started that tradition of of taping your name to the to the board for when you got it up in the in the dressing room so you could see it up there for the first time. So that was pretty special. Even though Zimbabwe, Zimbabwean cricket um, has sort of gone through a real rough patch and they, they, they lost a lot of very fine players all at once. So back then, 2003, they, were, they still had some pretty decent players. Um, early season at Lords, the ball moves around, etc, etc, and, and we'd had a pretty, you know, pretty torrid time of it. Day two, I came out and just played very, very nicely, just found my footwork and timing were were all uh, absolutely spot on and, and made a and made what was a pretty pretty quick and relatively entertaining hundred. He's going and he's home. He waited and he is happy. No question. This is an excellent knock. A very good hundred indeed. Difficult conditions to bat in. A little bit of luck, but he need that. Um, I think the game was maybe more remembered for the fact that I got five wickets in the test match as well to bust him on my out, which is perhaps where the man of the match thing came from. That's out. Mark Butcher's done the job, and he's done it because he's pitching the ball up and swinging it. That's one of the things about the, the honours boards, um, was the fact that I... That I took four wickets in an innings in, in, I don't know whether it was the first or second, it was probably the second innings of that test match. Um, and I was bowling when Zimbabwe were nine down um, and on the brink of losing the game. I had four slips in a gully. Nasser was at third slip, I think, and, he, and number 11 ran up, bowled him an outswing and nicked it. Nasser almost threw it on the floor on purpose because I think he knew that I would have been the only other person other than Ian Botham to be on both five wickets and a, and a hundred in a test match at Lords in the, in the home dressing room and I think he was damned if he was going to allow me to be up there. <laughs> so I, I, I still to this day believe he dropped it on purpose. It's in the air. Oh, he's dropped him. Hussain is the man in that fourth slip position. It was a difficult catch. The, the food at Lords 
second to none. Um, the fact that you always got a sort of a pretty wide choice as well. I mean, you weren't. It wasn't just you come in, sit down, and uh, and, and it was plonked in front of you. You'd have a, had a menu um, of two or three different starters, two or three different main courses, huge desserts, um, a whole fridge full of ridiculous um, drinks. Some of which were some of which were alcoholic, I believe, in the, in the early days. Anyway, playing here, uh, yeah, it was just a, it was a completely different dining experience at cricket. Um, and one that thankfully, thankfully I played for Surrey, not Middlesex, otherwise I would have been twice as size.